Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is a reaction to one fact about every country in the world, part one, and that is pretty much it. We're gonna just jump into this and check this out. I've reacted to this channel once or twice before, and yeah, I love facts videos and I love geography, so there we go. But one fact about every country in the world, let's check this out and see some facts that hopefully I don't know. There are 197 countries in the world. It is truly beautiful, and today we're gonna talk about facts about each country. So this is gonna be a long journey, but let's just get started. We're gonna get started with the westernmost country in the world, which is actually Kiribati. In fact, Kiribati is the only country in the world that is located in all four hemispheres. It's like, what? like in the middle. And this country celebrates New Year's the fastest out of every country in the world. United what the f what the hell? United States of America. Minnesota! It shouldn't come to surprise that it has the largest economy in the world with a GDP of approximately 21 trillion dollars as of 2019. The only people to have walked on the moon's surface are all Americans and there is an estimated... I knew... I didn't know the only people were Americans. I knew America were the only countries that managed to get them on the moon. I didn't know it was only Americans as well. 76 million dogs the dog in the dog? United States. More than double the number of Brazil, the country of the second most dogs. Canada. More than half of all of the lakes in the world are located in Canada. In fact, Canada has 60% of the total number of lakes worldwide and 9% of Canada's territory is just lakes. That is insane. Mexico. Mexico has the world's largest Spanish-speaking population, and Mexico is also the of second course. most populated country in North America after the United States of America. Also, Mexico has the highest pyramid in the world, which I already said in one of my previous videos. Guatemala. The Central American country is the birthplace of chocolate. That's right, chocolate was created in Guatemala. Belize. Belize what? is the only Central American country. Shout out Guatemala then, because I live on chocolate. Where English is the official. Wait, there's a country in Central America where. What? That is actually. That's blown my mind. Belize. Belize is the only Central American country where English is the official language. El Salvador. What the hell? I wonder how many people speak English as their first language though. Four. El Salvador is known as the land of volcanoes because it has more than 100 volcanoes and actually it has a volcano on its own flag. Also, it is oh, the God. most densely populated country in Central America, Honduras. Honduras technically has the newest flag in the world, which was changed in 2022, Nicaragua. Damn. The sky is so clear at night that you can see 86 out of the 88 constellations. Also, according to ChatGPT, it has a volcano which has the record for the world's fastest boarding on volcanic ash, reaching a speed up to 95 kilometers per hour. That is pretty fast. Costa Rica. Due to its location, it is always about the same distance from the sun. That means it has 12 hours of light and 12 hours of night every day. The most consistent then. of the year. Wow, that's certainly something new. Nice. But surely every country at the one point, I guess because it's right in the center, right? If you're right in the center, that's why. And the countries around it are similar, but then they obviously get further apart the further you get away from Costa Rica. Panama. In Panama, you can watch the sun rise over the Pacific Ocean and set over the Atlantic Ocean on the same day. Wow, imagine seeing that. In what? fact, there is a mountain called Cerro Jefe where you can see both of them <laughs> from the same point of view. Cuba. Coca-Cola cannot be sold or bought legally in Cuba. The other country which doesn't sell Coca-Cola North Korea is North Korea. So go. this just gives you an idea. It also has the highest doctor to patient ratio with approximately 67 doctors. That's good. That's a good fact, no? Doctors I mean, that's obviously that's a good fact, but how the hell has that happened? 10,000 people. Jamaica. Jamaica has no snow or winter-like conditions at any time of the year, but it has what's arguably the world's most famous bobsled team. Yeah. <laughs> How has that managed to happen? <laughs> what? How have you trained for a sport where there's none of the conditions in your country? Uh, and it also has Usain Bolt, so this country is kind of insane. Bahamas. Speaking of snow, it has only snowed once in Bahamas, and it was in 19... I'm surprised it has even snowed there once. 
How has that managed to happen? I thought the Caribbean islands would just not get touched no matter what. 1977, Dominican Republic. Baseball is by far the most popular sport in the Dominican Republic. There are over 100 players across America. That is insane. I, I don't know how high the population is there, but it's not going to be much more than a few million. Professional baseball leagues, Haiti. Haiti is one of the few countries that doesn't celebrate Halloween, alongside with Cuba being the only countries that do so in North America. Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad and Tobago is considered one of the wealthiest countries in the Caribbean region due to its significant reserves of oil and natural gas. Barbados. Damn. Barbados is the birthplace of rooms. So me as a Moldovan, you know, I, I gotta thank them. <laughs> Terrible drink. I absolutely hate rum. The worst drink in the world. Saint Lucia. The island nation is the only country that's named after a woman, in this case, Saint Lucy of Syracuse, Saint Vincent and the Grenadines. Saint Vincent and the Grenadines has 32 islands, but only nine of them are inhabited. This is also the only country in the world that has its name formed of five different words. Grenada. Grenada is a significant producer of nutmeg, producing almost 40% of the total nutmeg production, but it's not what first place. But for a small island, that is insane. Antigua and Barbuda. The island of Antigua only is about 22 kilometers and has its own currency, which uh, again is pretty interesting. Same. Seems like a quite a strong currency as and well. And has its own currency, which seems. I mean, compared to yeah, dollar, again, it seems pretty all right i mean you see some countries that are like 20 20 to the dollar or whatever it's pretty interesting saint kitts and nevis this country has the smallest public debt per capita in the caribbean according to some data in 2021 it had a public debt per capita at around three thousand two hundred twenty nine dollars which is still very low compared to the others which have seven thousand per capita and finally dominica Dominica is the least populated country in North America with 73,000 people and Dominica alongside with El Salvador and Nicaragua are the only countries that have purple in their flags. Now we're gonna move on to South America. Let's get started with Venezuela. Lake Maracaibo is one of the oldest lakes on earth. It is also the most active area for lightning strikes in the world and there can be 28 lightning strikes per minute. More than Florida? Colombia. It is mandatory for radio and public television in Colombia to play the national anthem every day at 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. <laughs> Colombia Jeez. is also the world's leading source of emeralds. 70 to 90% of emeralds are produced in Colombia, Ecuador. You've probably seen the banana sign saying made in Ecuador. Well, yeah, it's the world's highest exporter of bananas and chances are the banana you're eating right now is from Ecuador. And as you can see, it is a product of it. <laughs> she got photo proof as well. Shout out Ecuador, man. You can't go wrong with, ban wrong with a banana, man. Probably the best fruit. Nah, not the best. That's a lie, but I do love a banana. Ecuador, so you know this is legit. Uh, even though there are apples in there, yeah, <laughs> we're gonna ignore that. Peru. Do you know that the world's largest river, the Amazon River, begins in Peru? Well, yeah, that's true. And uh, actually, in Peru... Wait, the world's largest river? I thought the Nile was the world's largest. He said the world's largest, right? Or the third largest? The Amazon... That. Peru. Do you know that the world's largest river... That's new to me. I thought the River Nile was the largest. God damn. The Amazon River begins in Peru. Well, yeah, that's true. And uh, actually, in Peru, in the Amazon River, there are pink dolphins. What? Yeah, it's a rare occasion, but they are living there. Guyana. Hey. Guyana is the only country. In speak. It speaks Dutch, right? This is a Dutch colony, and I don't know a lot of. I, I think the national language here is Dutch. In South America, where English is the official. La oh, English. Oh, I'm getting Guyana mixed up with what's the one next to Guyana? Curacao. Where's Curacao? Oh, what's this one? Oh man, I thought I was gonna be right. It's the one next to it. Damn it! But this is so fascinating, right? You've got um, like South America. You really do only associate it with Spanish and Portuguese. The fact that there's French, Dutch, and English as the main languages in some places. I know it's because of the colonization, but still, it's just. I find that so wild. 
language, Suriname. In this entire country, there is only one movie theater, and this country has the highest percentage of forest cover in the world, with approximately 94.6% of its territory being covered in forest. Wow! Jeez. Bolivia is one of the few countries that has two capitals and is also the most indigenous country in South Africa. It's actually the third South, place. South Africa? Do you mean South America? If we consider countries, and it also has 30 different languages. Chile. In Chile, you can find the driest place on earth, the Atacama Desert. Oh, Some man. parts of the Atacama have not received rainfall in decades or even centuries. Wow. Also, Chile has the Moai Island, better known as this emoji. Oh, wow. Paraguay. Paraguay is one of the two landlocked countries in South America, the other one being Bolivia. And fun fact, there are no doorbells <clears throat> in Paraguay. They just clap their hands when they arrive. Uruguay. Cool. The country has the highest number of sheep per person, with approximately 10 sheep for every person living in Uruguay. Damn, we've got we found the whales of South America. I wonder if there's more sheep per person in Wales compared to Uruguay. Right. Uruguay has the highest democracy index in South America, and as of 2018, it was 15th place, Damn. which is insane for a country in South America. Fair Argentina. Enough. Buenos Aires, the capital of Argentina, has the widest street in the world. This colossal avenue spans a staggering 140 meters in width, and it accommodates 16 lanes of traffic. Jeez. And the last one, Brazil. Brazil shares a border with every South American country, with the exception of Ecuador and Chile. Brazilian prisoners are allowed to reduce their sentence by four days for every book that they read. And did you know- That's quite cool. I mean, I don't read books, but if that was the incentive, I would definitely be doing that. That there are more than 400 airports in Brazil. Crazy, right? Well, yeah, that's basically a fact. There we go. Part one of a fact about every country. Can't really go wrong with this stuff, but hopefully you enjoyed this reaction. And yeah, if you had the fact about your country, I mean, some of the facts were <laughs> some facts were just like, oh, they speak English here. Maybe it could have been a bit better here and there, but yeah, I enjoyed this. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Like, subscribe.